Hello everyone. Oh, I've still got the light on there. So, we're back at the camp. This time I found a Joshua on the way. Hi. He was just roaming about the woods, so I thought, <laughs> come on, you can join me. Uh, so we're just going to have a wee chill out. Yeah. This weekend. We've got some nice food. Yeah. Some nice food. We got some chicken drumsticks and rice, and we got some pork talk ribs. Loud. But yeah, we got good food. We got good things. So um, we're gonna get set up. We got hammocks with us. This will be your first time in a hammock, won't it? Yeah. So we got the hammocks with us, and this is my first time being in an actual hammock. Yeah. And um, we'll get the camp kind of sorted up. I'm probably not going to film me actually setting the camp up because there's two hammocks. There's clearing to do. It's a lot of thingy. But we'll uh, we'll bring all you guys back when we are set up. Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. So we're a bit of the way there. We've got Josh's hammock set up, which is normally my hammock. I'm having the bigger one. <laughs> so he's loving that. Yeah, I'm loving it. Because it's comfortable. Yeah. And you don't have to have your shoes on. Mm -hmm. And the bug net's really good. Nothing. No, no bugs, nothing. What have you got in there? What are you sitting in there with? My tablet. Your tablet. <laughs> <laughs> That's Josh's set up. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back in a bit, but Josh wanted to show us, to show that. So I'll bring you back when I've got everything set up, you know, the... I, I'm not even sure, I'm tempted not to put tarps up today because it shouldn't rain, but... If it was just me, maybe not. I might put one up for Josh, though. Just, just to make sure. Just, just to make sure. But we'll see, because I really don't think it's going to rain at all today. But there is clouds passing and stuff, so... Anyway, bring you back once we're done. Hello, everyone. That's us set up. Uh, this is my hammock here. Um, that's actually a wooby blanket Jerry rigged as a, a sort of under blanket. I don't think it was really important tonight, but um, Josh, you can see over there on his hammock. That's my normal hammock. Yeah. So he's got the proper under blanket and that just in case it does get a wee bit chilly. Um, it's one thing I will say about the DDXL hammock. You can't buy an under blanket for it. Why make a hammock that you can't get an under blanket for? DD? DD, you need to sort your stuff out, like, um, oh, sorry guys, so yeah, I've just started processing some wood, we've got, got more over there to get, and then yeah, we've just got the, this is going to be real cosy and stuff once I do a fire, but obviously that's going to be later on at night, uh, not really doing any cooking yet, and it's far too, far too hot to do, to have a fire on, don't need one. Just when it maybe starts getting dark. Um, and then I'll show you, I'm not going to tell you what we've got for dinner, but I'll show you later on when we start to cook it. But it should be, uh, should be very nice. So yeah, now me and Jojo's just going to have a nice little uh, chill out. A little relax, he's on his tablet, swinging in his hammock. He's quite happy there, I think. Maybe I'll set a, a tap up for me later on, I don't know. I don't think it's going to rain, but... Just in case, yeah, my bell set up one. So yeah, I'll see all you guys in a little bit. So guys, I'm gonna uh, prep some dinner now. So we've got chicken, we got ribs. We're gonna cook them, we've got some rice to go with it. I won't show you prepping the rice, it's, I think most of you know how to do that. So we're just going to do these in tin foil. Might have too much tin foil actually, but better too much than not enough. Start the chicken. Run a 
well maybe I should do it in two two packs of three. It'll cook a wee bit faster I think. Yeah let's do that actually. Olive oil here, which is infused with a wee bit of uh, rosemary. What have we got here? Chusnik. This is like garlic, garlic powder. Not garlic salt, just garlic powder. Put a good bit of that in. We both like garlic. And then we got some it's like chicken spices. They always use here specifically for chicken. Keeping a nut in there, sort of, as flat as possible, so the chicken's got some space between it, get an even heat. Okay. One chicken, two chicken. Uh, we're going to do the ribs basically the same way, but slightly different spices on them. So I don't know, if, if Josh doesn't like these, well, we'll just swap, he can have all the chicken, I'll have all the ribs, whatever. He's not had ribs before, but I think he'll like them. Because he likes pork, and these are pork ribs, so... Cut them in half, put them in there. Well, roughly in half. Okay, and a little oil. There we go. So, that's him ready to go on the fire. So you go, I've put a little grill sort of thing up there for the ribs. 
And I also have my own knife as well. It's going to sit there. I have my own actual knife. <laughs> I don't want to open. That I want to show you. I'm just going to put my shoes on real quick. Yeah, put them on. If I can find them. In the bag. You want your socks on? Um, okay, yeah. Probably should have in that pocket there. So that's the ribs. And what we'll do here, we'll just spread these coals out a bit. Pocket. Pocket in the inside. Pocket. Oh, right there. Oh. Ouch. Very hot. Yeah, very hot. And then we'll just pop the chicken there. Put a little bit of coals around it. The ribs I've got out of the fire, I'm doing them a bit slower, so hopefully they'll be a bit more moist. And we'll just get coals all around them. And there we go. So we'll see how that goes. If not, we'll just have to take them out, whack some more wood in, get a few more coals and uh, yeah. so not start again, but heat them through more. There you go. You can already hear that sizzling. So whilst that's cooking, Jojo wanted to show you he's got a... Uh, yeah. Nice. He's got Mamora. So he knows how to use it, so, you know, I don't want everyone going berserk in the comments. Oh, how dare you give a child a knife? He knows how to do it, he's careful with it. So you put it back in the sheath just now. Yep. So he knows how to use it, and yes, he may cut himself with it, but he knows how to use it properly, so he's not going to be slicing fingers off. So, yep. Yeah. Me and Josh, just waiting for food now. Yeah. It's nearly, nearly six o'clock now, isn't it? We're going to wait till it's dark, but we'll just get this on now. I think Might that'll be well. better. Yeah. And uh, we'll bring the guys back when it's cooked, won't we? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. And maybe later on when I think we're going to do some marshmallows. Yeah. I think we'll get some marshmallows done later food. on. That's later on. That's for that's for snackles by the campfire. Yeah. Josh has been Hi. learning how to batten some wood. Yeah. My dad taught me. Yeah. Remember the back of your knife, not the tip. There you go. There we go. Expertly done. There we go, guys. Got dinner properly on now. Got the ribs, the chicken, and we got the rice up there on the, the tripod stand. A little bit smokier than I would have liked, but yeah, well. Smoky, yeah. You can't have everything. Bring you back when it's cooked. Hello, everyone. We're back. It's starting to get dark now. I believe it's actually it, it's darker than it appears on the camera, but. Just just sitting there by the fire, we're doing some marshmallows. Yeah. You like toasted marshmallows, don't you? Yeah, I love it. How do you do toasted marshmallows? Where should you put it in the fire? Right down there, where the Oh, where there's no flames? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't like doing it for too long, do you? No, I don't like doing it too long. I just got a bit of wood in it. Ah, that won't kill you. <laughs> Yeah, you can't come camping with your son and not do toasted marshmallows, eh? Mm-hmm. You're not talking too much now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's done. Is that one good? Um, You're going to do the little test just to make sure it's not too hot. No, it's not that melted, actually, yet. Not that melted? It's mostly the top. It's mostly the tip that's Yeah, it's just, just the shape of these ones. We couldn't find... Uh, any we couldn't find any like what we'd consider marshmallows. You normally get them yeah, in white or oh, white I've got things. Yeah. So we've got these kind of multicolored Haribo jobbies. Yeah. 
But they're still good when you toast them. Yeah, they're still good. Oh. Bring it up. Okay, it's a bit more mushy. Yeah. How's it know. taste? Are you doing it more? I don't know. Oh, you're toasting them a bit more now. Well, we'll leave you guys because this is what we're going to be doing for a little while. Yep. Maybe bring you back when it's dark and the fire's on and just for a wee bit before bed. Yeah. Morning, everyone. We've actually been up for a little while now. Well, we was up early and then we fell back to sleep. Uh, there was a, an extremely noisy deer that woke us both up. Yeah. There's Jojo. He's just chilling in my hammock. Yeah. So I'm going to get to making breakfast. Um, I didn't film any more of last night's dinner because I, I burnt last night's dinner. <laughs> I, I did kind of muck it up, didn't I? The ribs tasted disgusting. Yeah. Well, no, the ribs were okay, you said, but the, the chicken was... Are, the ribs were okay, but... Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to cook some bacon and eggs. Um, I should do that properly this morning. <laughs> Really miss British bacon. So does Josh. I'm surprised that butter stayed cool enough that it's not all melted. Considering how hot it is. 
surprised that butter stayed cool enough, it's not all melted. So from how hot it's been. Well I'm happy, I'm just I'm just surprised it's not melted. Oh yeah. smoke been awful all day. I love about bacon and scrambled egg, it's so quick. Yes. Is it okay if you put hotspot on I can't hear you. Talk properly. Can you put hotspot on Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you the Yeah, of course you will. Hey, scrambled eggs already done? Pretty much. Bacon's already done. Oh. Got a minute or two away. And breakfast will be served. Yeah, breakfast is ready. There you go, ladies and gents. Scrambled egg and bacon. A la bushcrafty campy style.
<laughs> well, maybe not the eggs, but the bacon is ready. Hold it, see, see where the bacon is? Uh -huh. Hold it with that bit because the bottom of the plate, where the egg is, the plate's hot. Uh -huh. If you hold it by that bit, steady by that bit, you'll be alright. Don't burn you. <sighs> there we go, ladies and gents. Bacon and scrambled eggs. So I'm going to eat this. I'll spare you the thing you me eat. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's us on the way home. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Come on, I keep bumping into these wee guys. Can you see that right in the centre of the screen? Caterpillar. No, I'm talking to the camera, Joshua. See him just there? Seeing loads of these. I'll need to move him. Because, oh, oh, he just dropped on the ground. Oh. Hey, there's another one right there. Oh. <laughs> We're heading home. I don't know the specific type of caterpillar. There's Joshua. He's got his bag. Right. We've seen like eight of them now. At least, at least eight of those. Uh, the other ones here, two of them. Oh, they're all over. Must be time of year, I don't know what they're doing. But so, Yeah, that's us uh, just about sign out. We're, we're actually, we're more than halfway home, we're not far away. So, uh, Josh, we'll see you later. See you later, guys. <laughs> and, uh, oh, another caterpillar, they're everywhere. Um, and I will say uh, thanks for watching, um, thanks to my subscribers, um, if you do like the video, maybe consider consider giving a wee subscribe, uh, hit the like button, uh, and I always welcome any comments or you know suggestions, any, anything you have that would uh, be greatly appreciated. So I will see you guys uh, in the next one. Ta-ra!